How's it going? CDI box on a Skidoo. This is an 85 Safari. How the heck do you tell if this thing's good or not? Well, I did a quick search on YouTube and found a guy that said, How to test if CDI is bad. Buy a new CDI. Hmm. Well, so I bought a new CDI. Um, the way that I... The way that my dad and I determined that this must be the cause was it had power going to it and there was nothing coming out the other side. I mean, I don't know if that's a surefire way or not, but that's how we did it. So here we have a new CDI. If at the end of this video it doesn't start, this is not good advice. If it does start, then the CDI was bad. Here's what I know about these things. They work great until they don't then they just don't work. Um, we got it to spark a couple times and then just no spark at all. So I've also got a bad fuel primer. Um, so I got a new one of those. I'm going to put that on so I can actually prime the thing. Um, I've also got new fuel line. Because this thing is so old, um, all the fuel line is brittle and, and cracked. And so I can't guarantee that there aren't any air leaks in the fuel line. So, that's what we're going to do, um, and we're going to see if this thing will run. Um, I've already taken the carb off and cleaned it. There are a billion how to clean a carb video, especially the Makuni VM car style, which is what this is. Um, so, I'm not going to do that video. I, I will say that I used the carb dip, and I didn't like it at all. Um, maybe I'll try it again sometime, but I was not... I wasn't super impressed with it. Um, I ended up cleaning it myself after I took it out of the chem dip. But anyway, let's get going. So here we are. Um, I've mounted the primer. You can see. La la la. Now I want to put some dielectric grease on these electrical connections for the CDI before I go plugging them back together. That just keeps the water out. Alright, so there's both the connections. Here's the CDI box, which will mount underneath underneath the carb. Now I'll mount that up. Yay! Guess what happened? This thing broke off the fuel pump. I was carefully and gently prying on this piece of rubber hose which is so brittle it doesn't bend at all and that thing snapped right off so I'm cheap and I kinda wanna get this done so I'm gonna try and glue this thing back on here this is a stupid idea don't do this just buy another pump I'm gonna try super glue and JB weld I have a drill bit here and if I put that on there like that, it fits pretty tightly. And it'll keep the glue from getting in the cavity, etc, etc. So that's what I'm going to try. And I'll let you know how it works. So it turns out, that super glue, this is a couple days later by the way, that super glue totally worked. Like, I plug this hole in this hole and blow in here, and it doesn't leak at all. That's perfect! Check that out. This is how I've decided it'll be way easier to actually video working on something. So this way I can have the video and then you can see what I'm doing and all that sort of thing. That's why I had a huge bump in my coat. Anyway, um, so this looks like it worked. But I already ordered one. It's 15 bucks. What are you going to do? Um, I didn't want to I don't want to mess around, so I just ordered one anyway. Now, I have a spare. So, I think I'll keep this one as the spare off the sled uh, and install the new one. Um, I've got my fuel line. And uh, let's get to it. Yep. All right. So, what are we going to do here? Oh, look at that. I can show you guys and have both my hands. Um, what I have to do here 
is get this apart without breaking that T, because I don't have another one of them. I have new 8th inch line for the primer bulb up there, which you can see that I've installed. Oh, I'm really going to like this camera on the chest thing. Um, so I've got to get this quarter inch line off of here. So let's see if I can get these hose clamps off of here. Check it out, we got light, video, two hands, what could be better? Besides maybe some chocolate chip cookies, barbecue, pulled pork, hope I'm not making you guys hungry. Ow. Alright, so I have a short piece of eighth inch. This stuff is really, really nice. Tygon. I'll put the link somewhere so you can find it, but this stuff's great. So I made a short little piece. Whoa, where'd my light go? Alright, so I made a short little piece to go from that little T up to my primer. So that's what I'm going to install now. I'm going to assume that the primer, if you can see that, I'm going to assume the primer pulls from the middle and pushes out the side. Okay, so let's see. Make sure you know which ones you're in and which ones you're out. So you can see that's marked out. This side's marked in. So we're going to mount it like this, because this is where the tank is and this is where it's going out so oh actually you can't screw it up because the holes down there are uh make it pretty obvious all right so now we'll put this hose clamp on all right, there it is, close enough. This isn't the right size, but I already had it there and install and everything. So looks like fuel is at the pump already, which is cool. Uh, I've got to hook up the vacuum hose, which is here. Um, so I'll do that now. Okay, so I'm going to put this slide back in. Boy, that sure could use some cleaning, huh? Wow. Alright, so I'm going to clean that first. Okay. Let's see if it'll start. Uh, sure would be nice to have it, like, pointing outside first, though. Hmm. Okay. We're getting there. Eventually. Alright, so I gotta get this thing down. Actually, I've got it on pallet. I could just get the old pallet jack. But. Let's do this instead. Okay. So let's see if this thing runs. Primer. Yep. Uh, spark plugs. Yep. There's something. There it is. It was the CDI. And now it's just got to get fuel to the bowl.